everyone, welcome to 99 Lifestyle. Today I'll be discussing with you my journey to my skincare routine. My skin wasn't always this decent before. When I was in high school, I had a problem with skin. I had some blemishes, some pimples, some acne, and some acne marks, as well as the blackheads and whiteheads. But then I started taking care of my skin. Skincare kind of changed when it was through high school, then through college, then when I was working. So, I'll be showing with you the reasons why my skincare changed. The first solution to my skin was not actually those extravagant soap, which is like the Cetaphil or the Neutrogena. Although I tried them, but it didn't work for my skin. The skin is very oily and um, a bit sensitive. So when it comes to, you know, um, ingredients on the soap, I am kind of sensitive as well, so when it comes to Cetaphil and the Neutrogena, it didn't work for my skin and it made actually my skin worse. So my solution was actually my aunt's suggestion which is the new Clean and Clear Deep Action Cleanser. So here it is. How does it focus? So the Deep Action Cleanser is oil free, won't clog pores and oil control. So it's actually good for my skin and it helped remove a lot of my acne scars, the acne marks, even the blemishes, and also my skin rash. I have a lot of skin rashes, you know, um, some discolorations. It just mainly cleared my skin and made it a lot cleaner. So I've used this all through my high school years and to my college. And then after that, I still have a problem with my skin on my body, which is specifically my back. My back wasn't really that clean or, you know, decent looking before. It had a lot of skin rash as well and as well as a few um, burn marks or sun marks and sun rash. So what I did was a few suggestions that a lot of my older relatives suggested for me. So what I used or what my grandmother suggested to me was this amazing, although weird, is this laundry soap. It's good for the skin because it's actually hypoallergenic and it has natural ingredients which is the Parallel White. Mm. So this is a laundry soap. This is very known here in the Philippines. So this one is a gentle clean and it has hypoallergenic um, ingredients and it's coconut oil and natural ingredients. So it's good for my skin, my whole skin, like my body, my face, it works. It dried out my skin in a way that it lessened the oil that was produced on my skin. So this one, is since it's hypoallergenic, it's very basic, very simple. It's a simple white soap that doesn't whiten you. It just cleanses your body. It just dries out the skin and removes the blemishes. Your skin still has moisture because it's still a bit oily. So after you wash out with this, you think that your skin will be a bit dry. But no, since your skin is producing natural oils, then it moisturizes your skin. I partnered this up with a speci special scrub, which is this. Um, it's a bath glove. It's a rough texture. Yes, I know I have sensitive skin and I'm using a rough textured glove. but. It's actually soft. You can buy this a lot in drugstores like Watson's or I'm not sure Mercury, but also department stores. So you can get this and see. It's actually soft after you wet it and then you just scrub it. I literally just scrub it all over my face and my body. Some people would suggest to, you know, um, scrub it using um, different scrub. This one is for the body and then the other one's for the face, which is what my other friends use but for me I found this one which is the just to take precaution on my face I usually use this which is a bath sponge it's usually soft it's always soft but right now it's dried out so it's kind of hard see and it has a rough texture but after wetting this it will be so soft and you would like it on your skin I don't always use this just because i feel like my skin is not well cleansed after using just this because i feel like not enough oil was removed from my face so i still use this kind of bath gloves for my face so the next thing you use is a toner so everybody has heard about this you need a good toner 
other people would say my cellar water yes i know it's a good um, sensitive kind of product and it's good for your skin like that but for me it doesn't work um, i try my cellar for like a whole the small bottle i use it i just noticed that my skin wasn't oh well it didn't really dry up my skin which is good because some people don't really need that but my skin actually needs some drying effect so that's why i wanted that toner the toner is actually an rdl original it's rdl baby face toner i don't have the bottle anymore i'm using a different toner right now which is the um hbc beauty derm yeah beauty derm facial cleanser so hopefully it focuses so this is um what's this a papaya deep cleansing acne care brightening vitamin and rich toner so it's a really good toner um it still dries on my skin but other than that there's one more micellar that other people are suggesting usually it's international which is the binder i don't have the um, exact product of it but i heard that it's great i think it's better and maybe i would try it eventually once i finish up all my toners because i have a stock of this i think it's my last bottle or second to the last bottle i have so there that's mainly my skincare if you like the video please like and subscribe and hopefully i can see you on the next video bye